1991. It was an incredible time to be alive. The 90s had just begun, and for many, the future was full of hope. But in the quiet heart of Clinton, Missouri, a phone call shattered the silence. A call that marks the beginning of a mystery that has echoed through the years. That call happened on April 4th, 1991, and that date became imprinted in the memory of a small town, a night when a young woman on the cusp of a new chapter in her life vanished into the dark, leaving behind nothing but a trail of questions and a town forever changed. This is the story of the disappearance of Angela Marie Hammond. From the heartwarming to the heart-stopping, join us as we delve into the depths of Angela's story, where every detail uncovers layers of a mystery unsolved, a community rattled, and a love story interrupted. And as the night unfolds, so too does the realization that sometimes the most terrifying twists of fate are hidden right behind us. I'm Rob Gavigan, and this is Seriously Strange. Clinton, Missouri, a small town that prides itself on community and safety. It's here where Angela Marie Hammond, a 20-year-old local known for her friendly nature and bright future, and her fiancé, Rob Schaefer, were planning their lives together. Angela, affectionately known as Angie, had recently graduated from Montrose High School and was eagerly anticipating the birth of her first child, with Rob by her side. Angie was four months pregnant, and the two were engaged to be married. The couple's excitement for their growing family and future was palpable among those who knew them. They shared dreams common to many, a happy relationship, a hopeful future, and a peaceful life. Then came the evening of April 4th. Angie and Rob were together, as was so often the case, but she had to drop Rob off at his parents' house for a while so that he could watch his younger brother, and she decided to leave for a bit. But the two still wanted to see each other again later that night. However, it wasn't confirmed where they'd be meeting, and Angie wanted to contact Rob to figure out what the plan would be. One single decision. If only she had decided to drive directly to Rob, the two would likely be alive and well, in their 50s by now, with the baby now a full-grown adult, perhaps with a family of their own. But that wasn't what she did. She decided, still being out, to stop at a downtown payphone to give Rob a call. There was no way for her to know that a threat had been watching her. Around 11.15 p.m., Angie stopped at a well-lit payphone in downtown Clinton to call Rob. During their conversation, Angie mentioned a strange truck circling the block a late 1960s to early 1970s green Ford pickup with a distinctive fish decal on its rear window. They continued speaking, but as time passed, Angie's tone shifted from casual observation to concern. And then, it very rapidly escalated from there. Rob could hear a disturbance on Angie's end and the worst was confirmed immediately after, as Angie's soft and worried voice suddenly tore into a series of blood-curdling screams. Rob, listening and shouting on the other end, was helpless, and then the line went dead. Panic-stricken, Rob immediately dropped everything and rushed to his car, which wasn't in the best shape. But he didn't care what danger he may have been put in. Angie definitely was in danger, so he tore out of the driveway and rushed to the payphone, a mere seven blocks away. As Rob neared the location, his heart was already pounding. He was sick with anxiety, not having any idea what he was going to encounter. Would Angie be hurt? Dead? Would his life be in danger too? It didn't matter. He just needed to get there to save Angie, if it was at all possible. But that's when he saw it the sight he'll never forget. As he arrived in the area, Rob saw a truck racing down the road in his direction. 
Because of how fast they were both going and the fact that it was dark out, he didn't have an opportunity to identify the truck from a distance. It was only once the truck was quite close that time seemed to slow down. Rob could see now that the truck was green and matched the exact description Angie had given of the truck that had been suspiciously circling the block. In that same moment, Rob was able to see into the truck and to his horror, got a clear but brief view of his beloved Angie struggling against a man inside, and that's right when he heard her voice. Just as the truck blew past, Angie must have seen his car, and so she screamed out Rob's name. Wasting no time, Rob whipped his car around and gave chase, pushing the accelerator as far as it could go, fueled by desperation and fear for Angie and their unborn baby. But soon after the very sudden U-turn he made, Rob's car began to experience trouble with its transmission and broke down. Rob could only watch as, against all his efforts, his car slowed down. The distance between him and the truck grew greater, and he gradually came to a stop, stranded, watching and crying out helplessly as the love of his life and his unborn child were taken away into the night and were gone, with the dim red glow of taillights in the distance. The disappearance of Angela Hammond sent shockwaves through Clinton, Missouri. What began as a frantic search in the immediate aftermath quickly evolved into a full-scale investigation. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the mystery of Angie's fate deepened, entwining the community in a web of theories, leads, and dead ends. The Clinton Police Department, along with the Missouri State Highway Patrol, spearheaded the investigation. They followed every lead, no matter how small, in hopes of uncovering any clue that might have led to Angie. The green Ford pickup, described by Rob Schaefer as speeding away with Angie that fateful night, became a focal point of the search. Yet, despite numerous tips, the truck and its driver remained elusive. The case took an even more sinister turn with the introduction of potential connections to other disappearances within a 100-mile radius. The abduction and murder of Trudy Darby and the unsolved disappearance of Cheryl Kenny hinted at a possible pattern, raising fears of a predator targeting women in the region. However, despite similarities and extensive investigations, definitive links between these cases and Angie's disappearance remained out of reach. Over the years, several suspects came into the frame, each scrutinized under the weight of evidence and speculation. From local criminals with histories of violence to notorious serial killers known to operate in the Midwest, the investigation cast a wide net, yet none could be conclusively tied to Angie's abduction. As the years turned into decades without resolution, the disappearance of Angela Hammond continued to haunt Clinton, Missouri. Then, on the 30th anniversary of Angie's abduction in 2021, the Clinton Police Department revealed a previously undisclosed piece of evidence, a ransom note composed of cut-and-paste letters like a scene straight out of a crime movie. It was connected to a police informant who had given critical information to authorities regarding a large drug operation in the area. The note mentioned the informant's police-issued number to let the informant know that the sender knew who he was and mentioned the informant's estranged wife's name. Both of these things were redacted from the ransom note, but the note reads, Hello, number. We know who you are. People like you deserve what you get. We know where your foxy daughter is at. She will see us soon. Tell. She has our deepest sympathy in her further loss. Goodbye, number. This cryptic message which was sent the night Angie was abducted suggested a devastating possible scenario. Investigators shared a theory that the intended target the night Angie was taken might not have been Angela Hammond, but rather the informant's daughter, and that Angie's abduction was a case of mistaken identity. 
This seems even more plausible when you find out that the informant's daughter was also named Angela, and she too lived in Clinton at that time. This lead suggested a grim reality. Angie Hammond might have been abducted not because of who she was, but because of a tragic error in the kidnapper's judgment or the information they had on the actual target. The revelation reinvigorated the investigation, offering a new angle that was previously unexplored. Police appealed to the public for any information related to this newly publicized lead, hoping to untangle the web of hopelessness and desperation that had ensnared Angie and her loved ones for so long. Yet the truth about what happened to Angela Hammond on that April night in 1991 to this day remains shrouded in mystery. The tireless efforts of law enforcement and the unwavering hope of a community continue, fueled by the desire for answers and justice for a sweet and generous young woman, her devoted fiancé, and the family and future that was just within their grasp. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of Angela Marie Hammond, you are urged to contact the Clinton, Missouri Police Department at 1-660-885-2679 or the Missouri State Highway Patrol Missing Persons Unit at 1-800-877-3455.